<laughs> Hi guys, it's Steve from Pony Customs. We've got Joe down today who's getting an LED wheel fitted into his BMW M3. The first things you've got to do when you swap on the steering wheel is disconnect the battery. For two reasons. Two fingers for two reasons. One, because you may get an airbag error if you remove the airbag <coughs> whilst the battery is still connected, which you've then got to get coded out. And two, to remove any residual charge from any of the electrical circuit capacitors and stuff that may activate the airbag. People do worry about airbags, and I'll go on to that in a second. Normally, on the six cylinder models, is where the battery's located. Twist that to the side, and then you've got the big beefy battery in there. A 10 mil to get your 10 mil out. Lefty Lucy, you disconnect your live. Being careful of your wires, all your lumen, everything in there. You want to disconnect the nut so that it's free moving. It's never moved before, it might be a little bit stiff to get off. There is a lot attached to it, so you may be better off getting rid of the negative instead. So that's now removed the power, so you need to put something over your positive terminal, prevent this touching again, cloth, something like that, so that it doesn't complete the circuit. And it makes sure it's thick enough so that it doesn't go through. I'll try and wrap this round out the way. Next thing we've got to do is pop the airbag out. Try and get it so that the steering wheel's in this position. Sometimes, with some models, the battery needs to be connected to move the steering wheel around. This is a good place to have it, but you may find it easier to move it around. In the plastic trim, along here, should be a little hole. You need a screwdriver. It's gonna be thin enough to fit in there, which I don't think this is. No, like me, this has got too big a head. You've got holes in the side. I don't know if you can see that there, indicated by a slightly smaller Mark Rump screwdriver. So what you want to do, hopefully a flat blade in, keeping it at an angle like this against the wheel, pushing back towards the wheel, and then you will find inside some resistance. You see it, that's making like a spring motion. That is the release catch for the airbag. And then, mirrored on the other side, using your left-handed skills, Is. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so this should reveal the connector to your airbag. If you look in there for me, there is two wires connecting into this release clip here. So there should be a little notch on top so that you can release this off. A lot of the time, you can do it using your fingers. If it is a bit too fiddly, like me, you're a bit ham fisted you can slide your screwdriver in but if you have a look there it's a spring-loaded clip there your airbag talked about earlier people worried about airbag got a detonator inside here which is electronically activated it will project a bag through the surface of the airbag to inflate to stop you headbutting the steering wheel people worry about removing these um, as long as you're cautious there shouldn't really be any need to worry about it too much. Um, it does take an electrical charge to discharge. If you drop it, it's exposed to heat or anything like that. The chance of it discharging are slim to none. Um, don't forget, you sit with this in front of your face all day, every day when you're driving. It won't just randomly go off, so don't worry about it. Don't take the mick with it, but don't worry about it too much. I've got inside here now lots of wires and connectors and things like that. In the centre there, you've got 16 mil bolt we'll double check that it's 16 mil most of the bmw ones are all the same and then another connector into your slip ring which we're going to remove remove the bolt take the steering wheel off and then we'll see what that's all about this again you might be able to do with your fingers pincer movement like a crab is strong enough if not armed with a screwdriver thank you jay wedge it out just be very careful when you're doing it because you got little receptors in there tiny pins inside there and if you bend them you're not going to have a great day cool all right so 16 mil ratchet i've got big extenders on there coming in and fit it snugly over the bolt there make sure you're using the right size make sure that you're not going to round it off they're fairly cheaply available you get them for breakers and stuff like that if you round it off and you can't get it on or off and you like where we are now somewhere that you don't live uh, you're gonna have a bad time so just be careful with that maybe a little bit sneaky if it's never come off before because you usually put a lock tight on it so it might need a bit of beef to so get the guns out 
there we go snaps all right what i tend to do in taking this off is i will keep the bolt with the ratchet so they are in the same place somewhere safer than on the floor in the car park so if we have a look in here you can just about see there is a notch cut into where your steering wheel mounts to and there's also a notch in the steering wheel itself and that's how you know how to line it up properly you've got a series of teeth around the outside so when you put it back on make sure those notches line up remove it slowly because if you haven't quite got all the wires and stuff out you start yanking it out um, and you pull them out of the connectors again you're going to have a bad time so we're going to take this in the garage and we're going to start swapping the gubbins over we're going to take off the interior and the plastics from inside Joe's old wheel and we're going to put them onto his brand spanking new and pour him a customs special edition LED wheel. If you have a look in there, completely naked, there's nothing in there, there's no airbag bracket, absolutely nothing and then we've got the wiring to wire in his LED display there. If you look inside here, there's a number of screws in there. It is, usually I use this T piece and they're usually a T20 or a T25. This is a T20, we'll see if this is the right one or not. Yep, T20 does the trick. So we're gonna be removing the bolts around the outside. We're literally gonna strip it naked so that we can transfer it over to his. So we've got who's holding on his interior plastics. Now, you're gonna get a lot of these, put them somewhere safe. I've got a special edition pot that I've Boop. like that, so that we don't lose them. Because it's very awkward if you do, ask me how I know. You flip it over, you've got another T20 underneath there, and that should release. Some of the BMW wheels, that screw will stay in place. Some, they come out, you'll find out in a second, I suppose. That screws come out. It's different from the others, so make sure you pop that in there, but remember where it's come from. So we're looking to see that it's been released here and here. Perfect. Shazam. So that's the old one next to the new one. And that's basically what's going to get swapped over now. If you look in here, we've got loads of wiring. We've got screws that are holding on the paddle shifters. When we flip it, we're going to have screws that are holding on your multifunction steering wheel controls. And we've got the airbag bracket held on also the T20 screw so the T-bar might not be up for the job of getting these off because they're going to be a lot stiffer than these so we might need to get the ratchet on these and then we're going to disconnect all of these negatives and start taking the connectors off as we go. If you remove the paddle shifters with the screws from the front you'll see it reveals some black screws in the back there. There you go just about to see that. That is what's holding on your multifunction steering wheel controls. So we pop them off, and that should release. Flip it over, stick your thumb in so you don't lose the screw. Shazam! And that's now been attached. Make sure you don't go losing that. Pop it out the bottom, save it in your pot for later. What I recommend doing is just taking a little photo on here so that you can see where all your wires are running before you start disconnecting everything. Because some are more complicated than others. The E46, you can see just on the shelf there, it's fairly straightforward, it all tucks into um, one place and it all joins out the back of the slipping. With the F-Series, there's a lot more electronics on them. They are run down into the recesses there, along there and into the back there. These blue um, connectors are best accessed from the rear. So what we're going to do is disconnect some of these earths, pull out some of the wiring, We've managed to free the multifunction steering wheel buttons. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to disconnect these from the back. You can see just in here, best way to disconnect, you can see blue connectors from the other side and I talked about those before. These blue connectors are held on with like these sort of straddle strap things here. And you just use, you hear that click? Just use a screwdriver to disconnect them from their holders and then just gently push them down and we can free them from the other side there. There we go, there's the one. And the other one should already be free. There we go. These are your little snapshot connectors that connect onto your multifunction steering wheel paddles and your paddle shifters. So they should gently pull apart so that you can then free 
the paddle shifters. You've got to be quite careful because they are in there quite tight but you don't want to damage these wires so it's a balance between using enough force to remove them without breaking them. If you are struggling, which I am, get a small flat blade there and you can get that in there and you can just work it loose. Just be so careful because if you knacker these connections so you can see it's sort of poked out there, boop, out it comes. Check all your connectors there, fine. So you've got a big spaghetti of all your wiring and stuff here now. Pop that to one side, somewhere where it's gonna be safe. Make a note of where your paddle shift wires are coming out, which is this last hole there, and then guide them outwards. Put them with the rest of your kit. Make sure you don't put them back on upside down. While we were paused, we took off the airbag bracket as well. You've got some springs on the back, make sure you don't lose them. They should be screwed in quite tight, so they should be all right. But that sits over there, we'll go on the new one, and it's held in with these little chappies, okay? Make sure these go in tight because they are holding on the airbag bracket to the main wheel. Make sure when you're replacing them, they do go on nice and tight. Don't over tighten it so that you snap them, but tight enough to keep them secure. Luckily, everything that we've taken off there is all the same size. So you've got only your one tool, which is super handy. Okay, so the power to the LED display, we've got a positive in red and your negative or ground in black. So I thought I had some spade connectors, I don't. So we've cut one from a loom from another steering wheel that we're not gonna use. We're gonna strip that back, solder it together, and then we're gonna take our live from this red cable leading into the multifunction buttons and we're going to solder that in and tape it you can just cut away the casing twist it and just do the old-fashioned taping but um, in a car like this it's gonna have a lot of vibration Joe's gonna be doing several thousand miles an hour so we don't really want it disconnecting randomly so we're gonna make sure it's on there nice and tight And a little bit of electrical tape just to cover the join and then you can heat that up to, to shrink it down if you want to and then we'll do the line so when we're looking before trying to take the airbag off and we're putting the screwdriver through the hole this is sort of a cut through of what what actually happens so the screwdriver comes in and goes into this little notch here and if you watch the spring that's what you're trying to do and obviously if you go below it it just jabs through if you can got quite the right size it can ping and, and not quite do it so that's what you're aiming to do is to release that spring catch yeah Happy days. 